Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this simple alarm system for doors and windows, which is very simple to make. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Here's the schematic and let's see how the circuit works. Here's the alarm and in my case it's a simple booster. And here I have a read switch or magnetic switch which works in the following way. When I have a magnet close to the switch, it is closed so the current can flow through the switch. When the magnet moves away from the switch, the switch opens. So initially we have the magnet close to the switch, then we have connected the base and the emitter of this PNP transistor so the transistor is not on and the current cannot flow. Then when we move the magnet away the switch opens and this transistor is now on so the current can flow to the base of the other transistor and also to the capacitor which is charged. Now this transistor is on and the current flows through the alarm and the alarm starts. Note that even if we move the magnet again close to the read switch, the alarm will stay on because this capacitor will have a charge that flows to the base of the transistor. So this transistor will remain on until the charge of the capacitor is depleted. The time is about one minute for a 1000 microfarad capacitor. You can adjust this value to change the time that your alarm will be on. Here's my circuit in breadboard and you can see the magnet and the small read switch and in practice you will put this on the frame of the window or door and the magnet will be fixed to the door or to the window. So when your door is closed the magnet will be next to the read switch and the, and the alarm will be off. The moment you slide your window or open your door the magnet moves away and the alarm will sound. Let me now connect the battery to see the circuit working. The circuit has power but the alarm is off. But when the magnet moves away because we open the door or the window, then the alarm is now on and it will stay on even when we, when we place the magnet again next to the read switch. We have to wait until the capacitor discharges or we need to disconnect the power. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video and see you in the next one. If you want to help me, please visit my Patreon page.